At the end of the chapter about arrays, we had a script that was counting digits. And then I mentioned that uh, it would be interesting to see how one could be counting words. In the case of digits, that was pre pretty easy because you were, uh, uh, you were keeping uh, the number of uh, zeros in the zeros place in the array and the number of nines in the nines place of the array. They're mapped the the thing that we need to we had to count had a really easy mapping to the elements of an array. This couldn't be even used for large numbers because you didn't want to create a huge array uh, just to have a couple of uh, elements in it. A hash, on the other hand, can fit really well for such cases. So in our, in this example, we will see how we can count words. So you have a huge file, let's assume that we doesn't have any special characters, just words. So you have a file with lines and each line has word spaces, word spaces. That's that's it, nothing else. So we have to go over the elements, the, the lines, then cut them up into words, then go over the words and keep and count how many times each word appears there. And the natural way to c to hold this information is in a hash. So you can have a hash called count. The keys are going to be the words and the values are going to be the number of times they appear, the word appear. So the first thing we get here is file name, assign the you use shift to assign to it the parameter from the command line or die if the user didn't pro uh, provide a parameter. So it, it should used to be it should be used name of the script and a file name. We declare the hash. We don't know what to set to zero. We don't know what words are going to be there. Then opening the file or die, that's just a regular thing, nothing special there. We have a while loop reading in line by line from the file. That's again nothing special jumping off because we are not interested in the new line or uh, having it interfere with our counting. Then we split according to spaces. So this is just a regular expression that we'll learn later on. But this um, regular expression has a single space in there. It will cut up this line everywhere where there is a space. So I think I was incorrect in my assumption earlier. In our file there should be no double more than one space between words so just word space word space word and the new line so this will split up the line into words and eliminate all the all the, all the single spaces in there uh, assuming that there are only single spaces so in a, this array we will have all the words in the current line one after the other even if there are multiple words even if the same word has multiple appearance in the in that line then we go over the words of the current line and dollar word will be every iteration it will be one of the words and then that's how we access the counter the counter hash in the place of words so you're using the word as the key in the hash and incrementing it by one now the first time we encounter a word a new word the count word value the ca the key is not even there in the hash and obviously the value is on def but we are but once we are recording plus plus on it Perl automatically will create the key and set it to on def first and then because that we are incre increasing by one it will behave as a zero and increasing it by one it will become a one so the first time we encounter a word this will just create an entry in the key create an entry in the hash and assign one to it. The next time we encounter a word it will just increment that same value and so on. So this uh, creation of the and cre key of the entry in the hash is called auto vivification and it's a very useful thing uh, in many cases as you can see. So that's the whole, the whole, whole code you just increment it and it's even simpler than the one that we had earlier counting digits because we don't have to disregard uh, the space here. So that's it.
now we have to just print out the result so we fetch all the keys and print out each word and we print out the word and the respective value so it this one is not sorted you could sort it actually and that could be a good exercise so please go ahead and sort it according to the keys and then sort it according to the numbers so show the first the words first the first first show the word with the most appearance in that file 